Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. So today I have the time to film a little bit and I'm a little bit excited because I haven't filmed for quite a while. Um, yeah, so today I want to color with the Castle Art pencils. I want to give them a proper try. Um, let's take a look inside. A few pencils are missing because I already um, um, yeah, shoes some of those for our coloring. This is the 120 set. Oops, sorry. Uh, yeah, this is a color swatch chart. Um, I have the one with only the numbers on the barrel, unfortunately without the color names. But uh, yeah, this is what I have. Maybe I would do another color chart with the names later on. Now this is the page that I want to color today and it is a page by Christine Karen, the Whimsy Fairy Solace Grayscale Coloring Page. And yeah, I want to color this with the Castle Art pencils as I already mentioned. And I also plan to do another um, coloring like this with the Arteza pencils and I want to compare them. Um, okay, but let's get started. Then I can tell you more a little bit, maybe. Um, I will blend in the colors that I will use for her skin first. We will start with her skin. I have prepared some color cards, but only with the numbers, because as I said, I don't have the, uh, the names on my pencils. This is what I have. I have the numbers on it. This is how it looks. And yeah, I will start off with uh, 18, with the color 18. And um, yeah, I try to uh, film a little bit real time for you because I know that some of you really like it. And I'm going in around her eyes first. I'm sorry for the noises. The kids outside are really noisy today. Yeah, just going in with the first light layer here around her eyes. Also going down here on her cheeks a little bit. And yeah, contour her face. Give her some shading. Also going in. Oh my gosh, they are really loud outside. I'm sorry for it. So. And I'm also going a little bit under her nose. And yeah, we can go here on the side even a little bit. And then on the other side as well. And yeah, what I wanted to say is that um, I'm planning to do a Christine current page, both with the Castle Art, but also with the Itiza pencils, to give them a fair try, to, to use them both on the same type of paper. Because I have to say that at the moment, I have a little bit better feeling for the Castle Art pencils, but this is just, I think, because I used them, I used them more often so far, and I also used them on a better quality um, paper, you know, like on a printer paper or on, di on different papers, basically, while the Arteza, I basically only used them on very cheap, um, yeah, thin paper that we have in our not so expensive coloring books. And um, yeah, thus it was sometimes a little bit of a struggle when you are used to use a little bit more of layers. The result was very nice, I have to say, with both pencil brands. And I expect them to be very beautiful uh, as well. 
on, on both pages that I will do. Uh, yeah, but I want to give them a fair chance and use them on the same paper. So, now I'm going in with 21. This is more of a reddish color and I'm using it basically on her cheeks to give her some blush, you know, so to speak. Also on the other side. And a little bit around the noses. Um, around the nose because, yeah, normally you have a little bit of a red color on your nose. Okay. So like this. And then I will go in with pencil number 12 and give her a little bit more shadow, especially here around the crease of her eye. And around her face here, also a little bit. And yeah, also, of course, here, just, you know, like around her eye, um, her face, I mean. And yeah, of course, also here on the nose and under her lips. And of course also here at the top part. So Recently, I got a comment or a few comments from people that didn't um, comment on my channel before. Um, so I'm really thank you for, uh, thankful for that. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I'm so sorry because I haven't um, answered those comments yet. I have a vacation or yeah I'm on holiday basically and um, I yeah I just um, started the project like um, decluttering um, yeah, a few cupboards and maybe I should zoom you in a little bit more like this. Yeah, decluttering a few um, cupboards and the basement and some rooms and so on. And so um, yeah, I was really busy have to say and didn't go online basically and uh, yeah and today is my first day where I can find some time and uh, but I really wanted to color something because I haven't colored for quite a while basically and but I'm going in to answer all the comments I think tomorrow morning when I get up. Yeah. Okay, so I did a overall 
light layer with this color with the lightest color i think i would go in with the white oh ah i zoomed you so much in that you can't see the color numbers now maybe like this yeah like this maybe you like this it would go uh, i will use the uh, white on every combination i guess for yeah softening it a little bit and also because um yeah in those sheep pencil uh, brands we basically don't have like yeah really light colors so i'm trying to lighten it a little bit with white And then there was another comment, uh, a person that is following um, one of my color longs. I think it was the Mariola Boudet one, oh, which I have to um, upload the last part of it as well. And she was like asking me to also um, do a um, conversion to Prisma colors when I use other pencil brands. Oh my gosh, I think I'm really like messing up this page right now. Okay, uh, yeah, I would go in with a blush again to, you know, just give a little bit more of a blush and uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that I'm trying to, I will try to do it to, you know, like convert the colors when I use like colors like um, for example polychromos but for example when I'm doing um try out like castle art pencils and I obviously wouldn't convert it so and I think I will just um I will do the real time coloring but maybe I will put in a little bit of music so that I can concentrate a little bit more now.
So her skin is finished now. Uh, her skin is colored in. But before I put away my skin colors, I just want to quickly give this arm a light layer with my lightest color, the 19, because um, this sleeve is basically see-through. So um, don't put your skin colors too far away. We might need them later. Uh, to finish off those leaves here, and I'm not even doing a complete overall layer, but just, you know, like going in a little bit with the skin color here. Okay, and maybe one thing that I will do before And one thing that I'm doing, I'm taking the uh, 12 and just, you know, um, you know, giving her arm a little bit of, outline. Just like this. Okay, so that's all for this part and now I will blend in the colors that I will use for her face to finish it off and um, I'm starting with her lips but I also will use those three colors for um, finishing off those little bands on her dress and I'm just quickly coloring those in first so that once my um, lips are colored so that I can put those colors away also here on her arm and on this side and you know I'm just Laying all three colors here because, yeah, this is really, um, yeah, a little bit disturbing when you're just calling those small details when you have to um, switch off the cards all the time because you basically just use them shortly and then you have to um, change it again. So I'm going in with my darkest color now. So. Oh, so, oops, I painted a little bit over. I will try to erase it in just a moment. Okay. Okay, and then I go in with my lightest color and blend it all together, so to speak. Okay. So, now I'm going for her lips and yeah, I will tilt this um page a little bit so that I can more easily color and I'm going in with my lightest color on her um, yeah on the uh, lip that is on the downside and then on her upper lip I'm using my middle shade and I'm also um, shading it in on her bottom lip as well 
And then I'm going in the part where there is the most shadow, so between her little lips. And here on the um, bottom part, going in a little bit with this color. And that's basically it. So, her lips are finished. And, as I said, I will use the white quite often and just lighten up a little part on her lip. And also above her lip a little bit. Yeah. So, and that's all for her lips. So those colors we can put away. We won't need them for now. <laughs> I don't know if I will need them later for anything else on this page. And now let's um, yeah, color in her eyes. And I will go in with a lighter blue and a darker blue her, her eye eyes are quite small so um, we don't need to put too much effort in this um, yeah just color first layer with this lighter blue and then I go in with the darker blue and just darkening it on the upper part a little bit so that we have a little bit of dimension in her eye in her eyes and I'm also going in with the white I think I need to chop it a little bit so. okay and of course yeah we could go in with a black a little bit to color in the um, pupil and for outlining the iris like so yeah like so and then I go in with two shades of grey to color in the eye white and um, this just gives it a little bit of dimension, which I personally like. And, um, but I mean, you could leave this part if you don't think that it makes a lot of a difference, of course. And, oh. I'm also blending it all together with the white a little bit. So the white is always good to use. Yeah, I think that's okay. You know, in coloring, nothing is ever really white. So we should give a little bit of color and okay. I think the greys are not needed now anymore. I'm just thinking maybe I should uh, give a little bit of red here. And like her inner of the eye, I think I forgot it. Um, yeah, just like this. Okay, and then for her eyebrow. I'm going to take this color. This is a really nice brownish color and I'm just, you know, quickly coloring it in. I'm doing a little squiggly line, so to speak. And that's all.
So that's enough. And then a last uh, step that I will do, I will just, um, you know, her eyelashes, um, contour them with black. Oh, I think I went a little bit over here. Oh. Yeah. However, so I'm going in with black and just outlining her eyes and um, And here for I'm just using black. And then can also put in some lashes. And I put some on the other side as well. Yeah, and that is basically her face finished. I think I went over a little bit here. So, and then there is just one little finishing touch that I, oh, so sorry. This one little finishing touch that I would do, I would just go in with a white gel pen with the IUC Zigno one and um, I put some reflections in her eyes, also here in the eye white a little bit. And what I like about this um, gel pan, it is not too opaque, so once it is dry, it really merges together with the color underneath. And um, therefore, I think it looks really cohesive and nice. So, so that's that. And um, now I think I will continue. With her little, um, with those parts here. So this, this in the middle part here on her arm, and also here on her feet or legs. There are also some of those um, bands, or however, and I will just go in with some nice yellowish colors. Wait, I will start off with the middle tone, uh, which is this nice color. And just give a little bit of this color. Okay. Uh, how much can you see? We can also do this one on the other side. And also maybe this one here. And it's a good idea to go in the direction of where you want to color. So Okay. Like so. And, um, yeah, wait, let's go in with the darkest color now to give them more shading. And I have to go really lightly in because, oh, I sharpened it maybe a little bit too harsh. I've used the, um, the swordfish sharpener. And <laughs> this one really makes a sharp point, definitely. Mm. 
Okay. And I also go in here on the other side and I do like a circular motion and then flicking it out. Okay. Also giving here a little bit of this darker color. Okay, and then I go in with my lightest shade and just coloring in everything. And after that, I will go in and define some areas more. I also need my white and but I will use it later so these are the colors that I'm using here and now I'm going in with my mid-tone which is the number 10 And I want to give a little bit more of the shading now, so that it looks a little bit nicer. And also going in here, I'm grabbing the darkest color. Just want to, I just want to darken few parts a little bit okay like this And also here in her arm sleeve. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, now I will go in with the white again and making a really nice light tone here and also here in the middle part. Oh. Ah yes, um, she drew like kind of like a leopard design basically, but I didn't go for it quite uh, right now. So. I'm just going in with my lightest yellow now. Um, and I also want to yeah, just okay. 
Okay, so this is finished and now um, let's do the same down here. So I'm just going in with my middle color, which is pencil number 10. I don't have the color names, unfortunately. I wish I, I had this new set, but um, I already possess the 72 set without anything, without numbers, without um, uh, without numbers and without names. And I also have now the 120 set with only numbers and now they again brought out a different version and I'm not getting it another time so I wish they would just have brought out um, the 120 set right from the beginning with the um, color names on it but Unfortunately, they didn't do that. And I also really like the image on the new set. It's not a new set, but on the new version of the 120 set, a lot more than on my uh, pencil case. But yeah, I can live with it. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going in with the mid-tone a lot more because this is a really nice color. And yeah, I think that's okay. So these are finished and now, hmm. I think now I will go in with the, yeah, I think next I will color in her hair. So now I'm going to color her hair and this is a really nice hair color combination. So if you have the castle arts, give it a try. It's really a nice combination that I found here. And I'm starting off with the 21. This is a color that we have already used in her skin, on her cheeks here. So it's like a reddish color. And I'm going in with um, just some strokes here. And uh, after that, I think I want to at least try. Oh my gosh, what's going on out there? <laughs> um, I would like to at least finish up her. Um, sleeves, her see-through sleeves. I think that would be cool. Okay. This color combination that I'm showing you right now would also work on a bigger hair color um, I mean like on a bigger page like a portrait or something uh, so and yeah wait maybe I will show you the complete combination first before I use it on Uh, 
on the complete page. Okay, then let's continue with the 27. And this is kind of like a really nice, I don't know, like a grape color something. And again, going in with some strokes, some are longer, some are shorter. And you start with a little bit of more pressure, then lift up the pencil to lighten your pressure. And of course it would be a little bit easier, maybe I do it, uh, when you would um, just yeah, flip your page a little bit in the direction that you're working, then you can do those strokes a lot easier. Yeah, and I hope you apologize that, but this is a lot easier for me to work and I want to have a nice outcome. So, I basically need to do it. And... Okay, so the next color is 25. This is a really nice brown color, the one that we have used on her eyebrows as well. Oh my gosh, what's going on on the outside? And we have this um, serene sirens, like every day. And this is now making it a little bit of a browner color. Okay, let's go in in this section here. And then here in the darker parts, you can like press a bit harder. Okay, and then 
I know these are quite a lot of colors, but it's a worthy variety here. I'm going in with a skin type of color in those highlights. And you can color over the other areas as well a little bit. Yeah, just do those flicking um, motions. And then in a second, I use a really light color to preserve the highlights like really well. Okay, here just color over because it's a really, I mean, this is kind of like a really small hair here. Uh, so now let's go in with 73. This is our lightest color. And we really want to protect those highlights here. So we're going over with a little bit of pressure here. And even this is has a slightly yellow tone to it. Okay. Okay, so far so good. And now I go in with this um, first color that we have used, the reddish color. And you can also use a little bit more pressure now. Just going in with the strokes. Like this. This gives it a nice glow, I find. And in a second, we go in with black. And this kind of finishes it, it off. Okay, so then I go in with black and I, uh, I tilt it a little bit more. This makes it a little bit easier and I just put it here on the darkest spots a little bit. Get some really nice hair strands with it. And some really nice strokes. And uh, But yeah, better 
use it a bit sparingly. Oh, I hope I'm in frame. Okay, and that's basically the whole combination. I mean, you could go in with your um, grape color a little bit more. To add this color in a few areas. A little bit more intensify it so and then also of course with the brown color a little bit especially going over the black a little bit to you know soften it just a tiny little bit okay and yeah that's basically it um and never forget sometimes put a longer stroke you know and yeah so this is the um hair combination i really like it it looks really beautiful and I think I'm going to finish off the rest of her hair in yeah with a little bit of music and just maybe a little bit sped up and then we come back to finish off her sleeves because I really want to get um, her sleeves finished but I guess this part is getting long again so see you in a moment <laughs> 